AIDA, it's the one of the first courses of its kind. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this new course and other new courses that are there. So what ends up happening is uh, this course, in fact, is designed to cater to industry demand. They've spoken to a lot of people and then they have actually catered or uh, made this course. So what ends up happening is in your first year, you get a strong foundation in the sciences that are required for you to actually learn AI. Most engineering courses, this is what happens. Uh, yesterday someone asked me, oh, only in my third year and fourth year I study electrical engineering, so how do I get an electrical engineering degree if I did it only for two years? The reason behind that is, you know, your first two years are spent uh, developing a baseline understanding of science and other relevant, I mean, specifically physics and maths and a little bit of chemistry that's required for you to understand electrical engineering. And then you move to the applications and then the, uh, you move to the theory and then to the applications, right? Similarly, in your second year in uh, the AI course, you learn the different kinds of modeling techniques are there, that are there and how do you actually, you know, make a model. And then the third sem, you will learn how to tweak that model, make it better and deploy it in various uh, circumstances. And in your fourth uh, year, you would have, uh, you know, learned how to develop these models and train them and everything. Now you will find a real life application for this, uh, uh, to develop a model and to use it in that space. It could be law, it could be medicine, um, it could be aerospace also, for example, right? Yeah, one of the things is that, you know, it's an emerging and evolving field like we discussed just now. And I think that's true for most of the fields. In most fields today, chemical engineering, civil engineering, there's a lot of uh, evolution that's happening. The way people do work has changed a lot. 